Look what I just got in the mail. I'm so excited to unbox it with you guys. Let's get to it. Welcome back to another video, guys. How are you guys doing today? Today is a very special day. I got a palm tree all the way from Florida, and uh, oh, I'm so excited to open it. I, uh, I I just hope it's not you know dead or anything. Um, it did take about four days. I, I kept track of it, and, and through those four days, it was like on the plane and you know and, and, and so hopefully it's uh, still kicking as you can tell i have a big cheeseburger smile because this here is gonna be my make or break tree we're headed into winter here in colorado and um, today is actually the coldest day that it's been and it's actually pretty weird because this sunday is supposed to hit about 90 degrees and right now it's about 55 degrees and it's pretty chilly out oh, i'm so excited Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why does it look like that? <laughs> Here, let me show you. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Super green. That almost, for some reason, it looked artificial, but it's not. that they did a really good patch pack packaging the tree oh that looks really good they put like these stakes in here for it as well heck yeah brother heck yeah okay i'm gonna take the wrapping off and then i will be right back and then uh show you guys what it's what it's looking like okay look at what i'm dealing with here <laughs> they wrapped it like through here and that this took me at least five minutes so it's probably gonna take me another five to 10 minutes uh, to get that out, so uh, bear with me. The packaging is like, it's good. I like how it's really protected, but like when you when, when you get it and you're super excited about it, it's not fun. Alrighty, so I went ahead, got it out of the packaging. That was a mission and a half. I'm kind of really bummed, kind of really bummed that they had to cut the tips off. I don't like how they do that. It kind of looks, kind of looks funny, but once it starts growing out, it's new frond here and more, it'll start looking a lot better. Um, but the two gallon pot, perfect size. I totally thought the whole tree was gonna be a lot smaller than that, but it's actually, it's looking really good. And uh, I'm excited about it. So this tree, if you guys don't know, I have uh, seedlings of the window palm and they only have one leaf coming out and they're starting to get two, but um, it's basically just one leaf. And uh, the reason why I got this is because I want to go ahead and put this guy in the ground over here where the majesty is at and see this. It's going to be my exper experiment um, type thing to uh, see how it holds up during the winter. And uh, really quick, if you guys didn't see my last video or any of my last videos, this frond looked like this guy here. I went ahead and cut those ones off that are all over my backyard. If you guys don't know why I do that. Um, it's because of the tropical lifestyle. I'm so in love with the, with it that um, fronds all over the place just brings a good vibe to me. Um, but yeah, this frond is brand new. It just opened like two days ago. Um, it's still opening, but um, I'm gonna have to take it out. I told you guys that I will just let I would just let it go, but I can't. I have to put it in a pot. It means so much to me, and uh, I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put it for the winter, um, but we'll figure it out. So at the beginning of this journey, I wanted to experiment with a Washingtonia Robusta. That didn't end up well, and I, uh, I, I, I don't think I killed the tree that I ordered. Um, I think I just kind of um, made it really mad, and so it lost all of its leaves. Maybe I killed it, I'm not too sure. Um, but I planted it in the ground over there. I poured some uh, hydrogen peroxide down it, um, so hopefully here in the next coming uh, days or weeks, it'll start kicking again. If not, then... I killed it. Uh, anyways, so I moved uh, on to the uh, windmill palm here. The reason for that is is because my seedlings, they were doing so good. It didn't matter how much I watered them, how much um, I put them in the sun for, if they like dry, if the dirt dried out or anything, like they were still kicking, like they weren't picky at all. And so um, I was like, okay, this is the perfect tree that I'm gonna experiment with here come winter. So like I said, this guy's going in the ground. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep you guys posted on what I do uh, on how to protect it and stuff but next video is going to be me digging that out 
and putting this guy in the ground. So stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy this unboxing video, this was my first unboxing video. Um, if you guys did enjoy it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. You guys smash the subscribe button, join Garza Palms, where I try to make it possible to grow a palm tree here in Colorado in my very own backyard. So, uh, oh, really quick, I was gonna show you guys the Robusta that I killed, but I don't think I killed. Okay, so that's it right there. It just sits trunk. Um, yeah. You guys can tell me if I killed it or not. Um, I did pour hydrogen peroxide, like I said, but I don't know. But that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thinking about you made me lose my mind. I'm so crazy, baby, you're divine.